Today I'm going to talk about Knessa and OB44. Um, before I start, I want to say that uh, I'm not going to edit this one as much. I'm just going to try to get this video out as soon as possible. So there's going to be a little bit of rambling and mumbling. I apologize for that. Right, so um, things you should know going into this patch are everyone was buffed, pretty much. Everyone was changed significantly. And because of that, you kind of have to know, you know, do some research on everybody else before you can truly understand how Knessa is going to fit in that meta. Um, two things I want to note are that Buck and Androxus are way more mobile now, and if you're not good at hitting them in the air, it's going to be a very, very bad time for you. You may not, you may not want to play Knessa anymore, especially against those two champions. Um, Buck has two jumps, and Androxus can dash almost indefinitely. Um, so if they don't have him on the enemy team, uh, it's you probably do fine. It's actually this patch will actually be a buff for you in that situation. In OB43, Knessa does a base damage of 1,000. You may not have realized that because it's kind of hard to do that much damage when there's a 30% uh, bonus damage modifier if you fully charge your shot. But if you were to shoot a shield, it would have done a thousand damage because bonus damage doesn't apply to those. Um, in OB44, they changed things up pretty significantly. They got rid of the 30% bonus damage. And instead of dealing 1,000 damage, she now does 1,200 damage per shot. This may seem like a nerf because it's less damage overall, but it's actually a pretty big buff. Um, Knessa no longer, uh, she's no longer punished if she were to say, say she's like jumping around trying to get off her, her shots, and she only charges it to 95%. Um, well, before that would have done 900, 950 damage as opposed to 1,300. Well, now it's going to do 1,140 damage because she's not relying on the 30% bonus damage. Um, so now she can be way more mobile and she's not going to be punished for it. Uh, the actual reason for this change to her damage probably had nothing to do with helping her against flankers. I don't think Hyra is even really intended for this buff in that aspect. Um, they really just wanted to remove bonus damage from attacks and put them onto legendaries, which is what they pretty much did across the board for all other champs. Uh, so let's look at her legendaries. Uh, at first glance, I'll be honest, they're not great. The problem is, Kinesis' loadout and legendary cards must always be built around defending against flankers. Because that's all she can really expect to have to do. There's always going to be a flanker in the enemy team. Um, and you can't really expect your team to protect you. This is why Restore 4, Prodigy 4 are most important for her to stay alive. It's mobility and sustain. Uh, it's pretty much, in Paladins, it's pretty much always going to be your focus. I'm going to talk through my thoughts on the legendaries from left to right. Uh, at first, so first we have Eagle Eye, which is increasing headshot damage by another 50%. Uh, normal headshots deal 50% bonus damage, so this brings it to 100%. Your 1200 damage shots will do 2400 damage against heads. Um, this one seems pretty good, I'll be honest. Among the options we have, it's probably the best option, as long as you're decent at aiming. I'm not thrilled about this card because headshots and paladins are fairly inconsistent compared to other games. Some, sometimes you swear you would have got a headshot, and other times you get a headshot on, like, a rolling bomb king, which uh, is kind of weird, but, I mean, you're not going to complain when it happens. Uh, with that being said, it's it's good to, you know, surprisingly kill people. I mean, you can kill half the roster if you just get a headshot, and there's not really anything they can do about that. Next up, we have Suppression, the Mine Legendary, which allows mines to stack and increases the slow by 20%. Seems pretty good for someone who's not so great at aiming. I know a lot of people enjoy running Mine, mine Knessa. Uh, seems like the perfect card for those people. Um, I'm not sure whether it can be useful in a normal sniping deck either because I haven't personally used it. Um, I would imagine if you had two mines against uh, an Androxus or something, it would, it would slow him down to a complete halt and he would have to choose to either shoot the mine or just continue attacking you. Um, but the problem is, it's not going to slow him if he's dashing around. So, uh, lastly, we have Steady Aim, which grants a consecutive fully charged shots an additional 30% bonus damage, as long as they're within 5 seconds. Keep in mind, you have to fully charge a shot, a normal 1200 damage shot, before you can fire 1560 damage. Uh, it's kind of what Knessa's old passive was turned into. I'm not really crazy about this card either, because it kind of encouraged me to make decisions that I wouldn't otherwise have made because I was afraid of losing the bonus damage. So let's say that um, 
someone's running away and I think I can kill him with a 1000 damage shot but instead I'm gonna fully charge it just to get the bonus damage of my next shot after that and maybe they get away or maybe I miss because it's an awkward shot and I think that that decision making was overall in the grand scheme of things not good for winning um, now someone could probably get used to that and get used to making those decisions but from at first glance it just didn't feel as good as the bonus headshot damage because there's no drawbacks from bonus headshot damage it's always good you know if you before in OB43 if you were to charge your shot halfway let's say and then you got a headshot that would be normal damage of 500 with a 50% modifier so you would do 750 damage now in this patch that's 600 times 2 so you're gonna do 1200 damage for a half charged headshot which is way better and I think that passive is gonna be really good for her when she's trying to when she's in a really close duel because you can bunny hop charge halfway deal 1200 damage that's gonna send um, Every, pretty much every other flank except Buck running away so it's pretty good for her. Now, I think overall there's a lot more room for experimenting with Knessa's loadouts, legendary card combinations, and overall I think this could be a slightly better patch for Knessa despite the increased mobility of the enemy flankers. One last thing I want to note, with each patch they're trying to make resilience more viable. With this recent patch they introduced a very strong route with Grover and a, more, and a lot more slows coming out of Grok. Uh, among other things that they did. Um, with more people taking resilience and Haven being weaker than ever, I think uh, it's going to be a good patch for Knessa overall. Um, that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope Knessa players find this useful, and good luck out there. Enemies behind us! Okay! of myself in you. Good luck. Thank you.